Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to create videos from text using WAN 2.2T2V A14B. Not only can it generate video from text, but it also handles simple video-to-video -video tasks and can create images from text and perform image-to-image -image generation as well. The model, which is developed by Alibaba, uses a mixture of experts architecture. This means it has two experts for creating videos, one called the high noise expert and the other, the low noise expert. To use this model, we'll be using WAN GP. If you don't have WAN GP installed, I've made a video about installing it on Windows, so don't forget to watch it. For faster video generation, we'll also be utilizing Lightning LoRa's. If you don't have them, the download link is in the description. So, when you open the download link for the Lightning LoRa's, you can find the High Noise LoRa made for the High Noise Expert, whose file name is highnoisemodel.safatensors, and a Low Noise LoRa made for the Low Noise Expert, whose file name is lownoisemodel.safatensors. Use the download buttons to download these LoRa's. After the download, Let's see where we need to put the LoRa's inside WAN GP. Open the Downloads folder and select and cut the both High Noise and Low Noise LoRa's. Then open the main folder of WAN GP. Here we can find a folder called LoRa's. Open that folder and paste the files. Then let's switch to the WAN GP. Let's click on the Refresh button. Now we are ready. Let's select WAN 2.2 from the model list and then select Text2 Video 14B. In here, there are some preset options available for video generation. If you choose the Lightning preset, WAN GP will automatically download the Lightning LoRa's and use them for video generation. Anyway, I will be showing you how to manually use the Lightning LoRa's. So, let's scroll down a little bit. Under the Text to Video section, we are going to use the New Video option. Then, select Use Text Prompt Only. In the Prompt section, type about the video you want to create. I have some prompts in my notepad, so let's copy and use them here. Now, let's scroll down. Under Category, we can select the resolution of our output video. The model supports 720p and 480p. If your computer can handle 720p, then use that. For me, I will be using 480p. Under the Resolution budget, there are more resolutions we can choose. Also, we can decide if we want to use horizontal or vertical resolution. I will be using the 16, 9 horizontal resolution. Next, under the number of frames, we can decide the length of our video. Here is one thing you need to note. The model is trained to create 16 FPS videos, and the best frame count is 81, which will create a 5-second video. You can try more than that. I will be using 81 frames. Then the number of inference steps. Because we are using lightning LoRa's, we will be using 4 steps. Next, let's go to the advanced mode and scroll down a little. Here, I will be using a seed value of minus 1. We don't need to change anything for the model slash guidance switch threshold. For both guidance and guidance 2, we will use a CFG value of 1. For the sampler solver, we will use UniPC. For shift scale, we will use 12. Then let's go to the LoRa's tab. In the activated LoRa's field, first select the high noise LoRa, then the low noise LoRa. Guys, make sure you are adding the LoRa's in this exact order. Next, for the LoRa's multipliers, we will type 1 semicolon 0 then put a space and type 0 semicolon 1. These values are easy to understand. 1 semicolon 0 means use the high noise LoRa only with the high noise expert model. Similarly, 0 semicolon 1 means use the low noise LoRa with low noise expert. Now, to increase generation speed even further, we could use mag cache. However, I am going to skip that for now because I am already using Sage Attention, which already decreases the quality a little bit. Using Mag Cache would only decrease the quality even further. Therefore, let's scroll up and click on the Generate button and then wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's play the video and see the result. As you can see, the result is pretty nice and impressive. It took around five and a half minutes for the generation and the result is really good. Now, let's try another prompt. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the prompts field of WAN GP. For the other settings, we will be using the previous configuration. However, for the resolution, we are going to choose a vertical one. So, let's choose 9, 16. Now, let's click on the Generate button and wait for the result. Here we go, the generation finished. The generation time was around 5 minutes and 12 seconds. Let's play the video to see the result. As you can see, the result is pretty good. 
Now, let's perform a video-to-video -video task. Under the new video option, click on Use Text Prompt Only. We now have two other options related to the video-to-video -video task. One is video-to-video -video guided by text prompt, and the other is video-to-video -video guided by text prompt with mask support. The latter will let us use a mask for the video-to-video -video task. From my previous experiments, the mask option does not work well, so I'm going to skip that. Let's choose video to video guided by text prompt. We now have a new option called control video. Using this option, we will import a video to WAN GP. Now, let's select a good video. Let's go to the pictures folder. I'm going to choose this video in which a woman is listening to music. Under control video, we have an option called denoising strength. This option decides how much change we want in our input video. If we use a lower denoising strength, the output video will look closer to the original. If we use a higher denoising strength, the output video will have more variations. I want more variations, so I'm going to choose 0.65. Next, in the prompts field, we need to type what kind of changes should be added to the imported video. I'm going to type, a woman wearing a red t-shirt listening to music. Then, for the resolution, I'm going to use the 9, 16 vertical format. For other settings, we will use the previous configuration. Now, let's scroll up and click on Generate, then wait for the result. Here we go, the generation is finished. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, the video motion looks similar to the imported video, and she is also wearing a red t-shirt, which is good. However, in certain situations, you have to play with the denoising strength for getting the result you want. Now, let's talk about the other two options, which are Continue Video and Continue Last Video. This is not meant for extending an existing video. Instead, it will help you stitch an existing video with a newly created video. If you are interested in extending video, I will talk about it in another video. So let's move on to the other task, which is image generation. We can use this model to create images from text. Also, the model can do an image to image task. So let's click on text to image. Currently, the option is on image to image, Let's change it to use text prompt only. In the prompts field, we need to type about the kind of image we want to create. I have some text prompts in my notepad, so let's copy and use them in the prompts field. Now, let's scroll down. In the category section, we can choose a higher resolution, so I'm going to use 1080p. Then, in the resolution budget, I will choose the 16-9 format. Next, we have the option for deciding how many images we want to create, so I will choose one. For the inference steps, I recommend using 10 or 15 steps, so I'm going to type 15. For the other settings, we will use the previous settings. Also, I suggest generating images without using lightning LoRa's. If you decide not to use lightning LoRa's, set both guidance values to 3 or 4. For me, because I am using Lightning LoRa's, I will keep the existing setting. Let's scroll up and click on the Generate button, then wait for the result. The generation is complete. The generation took around 8 minutes and 38 seconds. Now, let's take a look at the image. Let's open it in a new tab. As you can see, the result is pretty good. Now, let's try another prompt. Let's select this text and copy it. Then, switch to WAN GP, paste the text in the Prompts field. For other options, I am going to use the previous settings. So, let's click on Generate and wait for the result. The generation is complete. The generation took around 8 minutes and 45 seconds. Now, let's take a look at the image. As you can see, the result is pretty nice. Now, let's move on to another task, Image to Image with this model. Let's change the option from Use Text Prompt Only to Image to Image Guided by Text Prompt. There is also an Image to Image with Mask option, but for some reason, that option didn't work for me, so I will skip that. Let's choose Image to Image Guided by Text Prompt. In the Control Image section, we need to load an image. Let's click on Click to Upload. I'm going to select this image of a dog. Now, let's scroll down. Here, we need to set the denoising strength. If you want to create an image with slight modifications, lower the denoising strength. If you want to create an image with more changes, use a higher denoising strength. I'm going to choose 0.3. Next, let's write a prompt. I'm going to type, a tiger swimming under the pool. Let's scroll down. This time, I will choose a lower inference steps value, so I'm going to type 10. Now, let's scroll up and click on the Generate button and wait for the result. Here we go, the generation is completed. 
the generation took around 4 minutes and 27 seconds. Let's open the image in a new tab. As you can see, the dog changed into a tiger while keeping the pose. The result is good. If we increase the steps, maybe we can get better quality. As we have seen, the model can do image generation, but the time it takes is too slow when comparing it with other models like Flux or SDXL. On my computer, the FP8 model of Flux can create an image in one minute and SDXL in seconds. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the features of this model. What do you think about this video? Please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.